down what's given here. So there's an expansion here. The gas begins at some initial pressure, Pi, some initial volume, Vi, and some initial temperature, Ti. It expands to some final pressure, Pf, initial, final volume, Vf, and final temperature, Tf. Let us write what we know here. We know that the initial pressure is 3 kilopascal. So this is 3 times 10 to the 3 pascal. We know that the initial volume, Vi, is 2 meter cube. And we know that the initial temperature, Ti, is 300 degrees Kelvin. Now, since it expands at constant pressure, this means that Pf is also so it's the same as Pi, 3 times 10 to the 3 Pascal. Vf is 4 meter cube. It expands to 4 meter cube. So what is Tf, the final temperature? This is part A. So we have Pv equals nRT. So Pi, Vi is... N R T I and P F V F is N R T F. This then if I divide I get P F V F over P I V I is simply T F over Ti. So Tf over Ti. Now Pf and Pi are the same. Vf is twice Vi. So this is simply 2. So this means that Tf is 2 Ti. Since Ti is 300, so this is just 600 degrees Kelvin. Then, how much energy is transferred to the gas by heat? Now, clearly here, for this expansion to take place at constant pressure, we must add heat. Because, after all, the temperature rises in this case from 300 to 600. So the gas gets hotter and so and the gas does work okay in expanding the gas is doing work and it's getting hotter so its internal energy is increasing and therefore heat must be added during this process so how much energy is transferred by We can, we can do it first by using the first law of thermodynamics. We could say that the change in internal energy is equal to the heat added plus the work done on the gas or minus the work done by gas. Either way. Here, in expanding, the gas does work. So the work done by the gas is positive. The work done on the gas is negative. So if you write it minus work by gas, then work by gas is positive. If you write it plus work on the gas, then the work on the gas is negative. So it's the same. 
So this means that Q is delta U plus the work done by gas. Now, since this is an ideal one atomic gas, then the change in internal energy is 3 over 2 and R delta T, Tf minus Ti. And the work done by the gas, since the expansion takes place at constant pressure, is P delta V, which is Vf minus Vi. So we can calculate this, 3 over 2, NR. Now, what is NR equal to? Okay, we have PV is NRT. So PI, VI is NRTI. PF, VF, is NR, TF. So what is NR? Subtract them, TF minus TI. If I subtract, it's PF, VF, minus PI, VI. But PF and PI are the same. So it's just P times VF minus V. So this is just P VF minus VI, just like this one, times 3 over 2. So I get 3 over 2, P VF minus VI plus P VF minus VI, which is 5 over 2 P VF minus VI. So this is just 5 over 2. The pressure is... 3 times 10 to the 3, and the change in volume is 4 minus 2, which is just 2. So this is 15 times 10 to the 3, so this is 15,000 joules. There's, we could arrive at this answer. In another way, so here's another method. I would say that Q, the heat added, since the expansion is done under constant pressure, so it's just N C P delta T. where Cp is the specific heat at constant pressure. For an ideal one atomic gas, as we discussed in the lecture, Cp is 5 R over 2. Cv is 3 R over 2. And Cp is Cv plus R, 5 R over 2. So this is N times 5 R over 2 delta T. Now N R delta T from here, N R delta T is simply P times delta V, the change in volume. So this is 5 over 2 P times the change in volume, Vf minus Vi which is the same as we got here, 5 over 2 P Vf minus Vi. So we can obtain the answer in both ways. It's the same answer.